Okay, so hello again guys, uh, Shock247 here once again. Uh, this is the final episode, so part 4 of the 4 part Squid Beacon, uh, Best Places to Hide Squid Beacons in Splatoon 2 series. So I hope you enjoyed it so far and have watched part 1, 2, 3. And if you haven't, I recommend you go watch them after uh, this part. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get into it. Skip the Pavilion, location 1. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to go uh, just down uh, from the ramp out of spawn, uh, then to the right. And then climb up this wall, and then just go in here, and then just behind this bit of wall here, we're going to place a squid beacon. And uh, now this is good because the opposition can't uh, reach up into this part of your base, uh, which makes it a safe place to jump to. Um, although uh, they can shoot from the thing over the top, so that is the only way they can actually spawn camp you. Location two. Okay, so this one, this is um, in the kind of just like the upper centre bit. Uh, this is uh, just uh, in this corner here. Uh, now the disadvantages here is you can obviously be cornered uh, if the enemy are in control of that area. So I'd only put them there uh, if uh, you're in control. Location three. Okay, so this one, this is in the lower area. Um, this is the lower half of the map. Um, just behind this wall here in this little corner, we're going to put one. Now this is very good because um, it means that you can super jump in and access the lower area really well. And also people quite often just don't notice them there. Location 4. Okay, so for this one, uh, we're going to put one just here, uh, just next to uh, the place where we put the last one. And once again, this uh, is a good place to put one as it provides easy access to the lower half, uh, although you can uh, be cornered, which is a disadvantage. Location 5. Okay, so for this one, uh, this is just coming basically straight down from where our spawn is. Um, and then just putting one behind this wall is very good because usually enemies uh, haven't pushed up this far which means you can super jump in and then just kind of tear them apart down here and then push it back up to the top and then hopefully win the match Location 6 Okay, so for this one there's two places uh, you can put them here so on this little kind of just bit that kind of sticks out at the very very bottom of the map uh, you can either put one in that corner next to uh, those two little boxes there, or you can put one just on the other side, which is uh, just symmetrical to it. Uh, so it's mainly just a matter of uh, which one's the most accessible uh, to you, and which one's easier to put one down. But yeah, it provides really easy access to the bottom half, which is why I've got a good beacon. Location 7. Okay, so this one we're going to go put one in the far corner, just over here. Um, now this is uh, this can be good, uh, although if you have a uh, drop roller um, uh, attack or on your gear, um, or if you use Julie's, you may well uh, roll off the edge by accident if you spawn here. Location eight. Okay, so this one, uh, this is in the top half of the map. We're going to put one just uh, there next to the uh, grate. Now the only way the opposition can uh, spawn come to you here is from uh, just, uh, being in that area or from being on top of that grate and shooting you. Location 9. This is once again just at the top bit here. Um, and then just uh, behind this pole here, uh, we're going to put one. Now we need to make sure that the enemy can't see it. So from that angle, the enemies cannot shoot you uh, if you're spawn camping in. Uh, if they're just standing on the great bit over there. Um, the only way they can shoot you is from just being in, in that area. Sturgeon Shipyard. Location 1. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to go uh, just straight to the middle, um, and then just under the middle, there's this uh, bit down here. Now this is very good because enemies quite often don't come down here, or if they do, it's just accidental, or they've just fallen off the ledge. So yes, you can put uh, one just kind of anywhere down there, because it means it provides really easy access into the uh, heart of the battle, which yeah, makes it a very, very good place to put them. Location 2. Okay, so this one, uh, this is on the left hand side um, of uh, the middle. Um, we're going uh, to put one uh, just here. Uh, in either of these corners, you can put one. Now, uh, these are good. Uh, the one on the right is uh, better than the left one, but the, yeah, they both provide, once again, easy access to the middle, uh, which makes them a very good place. Location 3. So this one we're going to climb up the wall here. Um, and this is on our side. And we're going to put one just in that corner there. 
Now this is a place where uh, quite often snipers or splatlings or uh, long range weapons just like that uh, would stand so this is a very good beacon if you're uh, a person who uses a long range weapon. Uh, so if you're using a long range weapon I recommend putting it in there because it provides easy access for sniping in the middle. Location 4. Okay, so this one we're going to go uh, just kind of straight to the right out of spawn uh, and then just behind this wall here we're going to put one you probably want to put it a little bit to the left of where I put that um, but once again this is another place for long range weapons so snipers or splatlings uh, this is a very good place uh, for you to put squid beacons or just to jump to here uh, as you have uh, access to the middle to shoot people in the middle. The reef, location 1 Three places you can put one. Here. You can put them here. Uh, you can either put them uh, on the left or uh, just behind those wooden crates there. So yeah, they're a very good, very good place uh, to put them uh, because they're defended. So yeah, very good place. Location 2. Okay, so this one uh, we're going to go uh, drop down to the underneath section, and this down here in this little corner here, um, we're going to put a squid beacon. Now, if you remember back to part one uh, in the example um, uh, that I, in the example video I put on, um, these were the places uh, that I showed uh, as to how powerful squid beacons can be. Uh, so, it shows that they're a very, very good place to put them. Location 3. So for this one, uh, we're going to go put one uh, just in the corner here. Uh, this is on the right hand side, so uh, when you go down from the right of our spawn um, into this just area down here. Now, in the corner, you can be cornered uh, if the enemy are shooting you, which is a disadvantage of this good beacon. Location 4. Okay, so for this one, uh, we're going to put one just in that uh, corner there, just in that little bit in there. Uh, now you can be spawn camped in there, uh, it's the same as the other side, you can put one, although once again you can be uh, kind of penned in there, which is a real disadvantage of this beacon, although it can work really well if you're not spawn camped. Location 5. Okay, so this one, uh, this is back on our side, um, just, in that, just in that little bit corner there, uh, next to those uh, two um, blocks. Uh, we're going to put one. Location 6. Okay, uh, for location 6 we're going to put one just in that corner there. Um, now once again you can be cornered which is a disadvantage. Um, although once again it can work really really well if you're not spawn camp. Walleye Warehouse, location 1. Okay, so for this one, the first place we're going to go, uh, we're going to go straight out of spawn, and then to the right here, and we're going to keep going down, and then uh, just going down here, and then just down uh, here, uh, we're going to place one under this grate. Uh, now the opposition uh, will quite often just go around these side bits, uh, which means that if they drop down through the gate they may be able to see it, but if they don't it's a very good place to put them. Location 2. Okay, so for this one, this is in the corner just over here under the other grate. Uh, once again, this is on the right hand side, um, looking at it uh, from our spawn point of view. Uh, so, yeah, they may well just jump over it or not notice it, but if they do, then you are live into the spawn. Location 3. Okay, so for this one, uh, we're going to go to uh, this bit down here. Uh, now, this is a. Uh, this can be a real. Uh, really bad squid beacon um, if you're bit, if the enemy are, are in control of this area um, but if they're not it can work really really well uh, and get you into the battle fast location 4 so this one we're going to go left out of spawn um, just down these pathways and then just behind this bit of wall here uh, we're going to place one now this can be very good because if people uh, super jump uh, over there then it means they've got access to the grate which they can slip through and then go straight into the middle so it's a very good place uh, that you can put a good beacon and it's very safe. 
Location 5. Okay, so this one, this is uh, just on the other side of where we put pre uh, the one earlier. Uh, this is this is just the exact same. It's just under the grate on our, uh, our the grate that we would slip through. Uh, so yeah, it's be a very very good place. Location six. Okay, so for this one uh, we're gonna do we're gonna put it in the uh, same place we did previously, but just on the other side as, as obviously the maps are symmetrical. Um, so yeah, once again, this can be a really bad place uh, if the enemy see you uh, because then you're basically penned in there and you can spawn and killed just immediately. Location seven. Okay, so this one, uh, this is uh, just over here. This is on the opposition side. Okay, once again, uh, we're going to put one uh, just down here. Uh, now, this is on the opposition side, uh, so it can be obviously very risky. Wahoo World, location one. Okay, so this one we're gonna uh, start by going uh, just the right out spawn, uh, then we're gonna go just over to this little kind of island here, activate the ink line or ink rail, sorry, um, and then just behind this wall here we're gonna put one. Uh, you probably want to put it just a little bit tighter to the wall uh, than I've done there. Uh, but once again, enemies, uh, it's really hard for enemies to reach here, so it's a pretty safe spot to put. Location two. Okay, so this one, this is going left out of our spawn, and there's two places you can put them here, you can put them uh, there, or you can put it uh, just over here. Um, now, the enemy uh, can't reach the first place, um, although they can reach uh, the second place we put one, so obviously the first one's safer, but the second one provides uh, an easier and quicker route to the middle, which is why you may uh, choose the second option over the, over the first one. Location 3. Okay, so going down uh, from uh, the last one uh, we just did, uh, now there's, depending on the mode you're playing in, this is obviously in Tower Control and League, um, but there's these um, uh, kind of like air bag things, um, whatever they're called, uh, there's usually they're on the other side of this uh, little just kind of ledge here, uh, but if you put one behind there, um, it's usually just a very good place to put them, uh, so yeah, depending on your mode, uh, you can put them anywhere. Okay, location four. Okay, so the last location uh, in this series um, here is uh, just on the opposition side. Uh, it's in this little corner here. Now this can be uh, risky in case you're cornered and spawn camped uh, if the enemy see you. But if not, it can work really well, and you can just kind of tear them apart from the inside out. Okay, and so with that, uh, the series ends. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I'll see you in some of the other videos I do. See ya.